I got a new package. All that stuff too. So this is where I'm gonna set up my resin printer. I kind of cleaned everything out and essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the vents through there, resin tent is gonna be here, and then the resin printer is gonna sit inside. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a heater. I'm gonna have to assemble that. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So to help with the odors of resin printing, I've decided to go with this setup. It's, so that's the air, that's a fan. That's an air duct. That is the tubing that goes to the air duct. And this is a carbon filter. So I haven't really seen anybody use this for resin printing, but I assume it will work because it's a carbon. It's a carbon air filtration system. So any air that, that gets, you know, in the system, in the, in the box of resin will get sucked out and go outside. And this is just going to help, uh, it'll help, I guess, make the air not bad for when it goes out. So that way I'm not trying to poison everybody outside. And yeah, so that's the tent there and I got to put that together. So that's what you guys will see next. I'm not gonna read them. So yeah, this tent is for growing plants. You got the tools or some sort of bracket. I'm not sure what it is yet. And then uh, an intro to growing hemp. I'm not sure what hemp is. But that's how it's supposed to look like when it's done. So you can see the filter and everything. Uh, it's pretty cool. So if it's anything like building the tent or the, the box for the Creality print, this is probably gonna be the last step. I'm gonna have to build the structures first before I open this one up. Comes with stickers. Mecha stickers for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Gundam. It's kind of cool. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it. I promise. I'm going to read it. I never read instructions, but today I will. Nice tent. Big enough. You can sleep in this thing. <laughs> this is crazy. Ooh. This thing is huge. Huge. Whoa.
lots of space. So now what I need to figure out is where to put the filter. Um, I kind of want it to go out to the back. That's that's a nice, it has holes all over the place, so it's really cool. Yeah, you know, it works. You can put it over there, you can put it over here. But I think back towards the window is where I want it. So maybe that one, I like that one. I seem to have ordered an extra tent, I think. So I'm not sure, but I think, well, no, these look like the straps to hold stuff in place. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's to screw, are there screws? Yeah, there are screws right there, so. And then it's to hold these brackets in place, to hold the fans and the, and the filter. Okay, I think I want this filter to sit inside the tent, and then the fan is gonna go on top of it. So that way I don't have to worry about mounting anything. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have the fan sitting inside the tent and not mounted up high. So my logic is cold air out, hot air at the top. So we want to keep this closed as much as possible so that if there's hot air, because hot air rises, cold air is at the bottom. It'll suck cold air out through the hose and outside. And also resin is heavier than air. So any resin that collects gets sucked up into the carbon filter and out. Happy fish. Hi, I'm happy. Cool. Any cubic. Any cubic. So yeah, I've got it all the way up against the window there. I can't pull up the blinds anymore to show you guys, but it goes all the way up into the edge there and then down here. And then I push the window against it and there you have it. All right, so there's the setup. Man, this tent is tall. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, I think this is how I'm gonna do it right now. For now anyways, I want a light. So I'm probably gonna put a light up there. Um, I think I might want to reroute the vent because it looks like it wants to go that way into that one instead because that one looks like it gets in the way. Uh, yeah, I think I might do that. I might readjust. But other than that little adjustment, I think this is my setup right now. Um, yeah, huge tent. Hopefully not much resin gets out. You know, I'll let it cure and everything like once it finish. I might want to be able to set a camera in here because, yeah, I don't want to open this up and, and you know, breathe resin in. But I have a mask and everything with gloves. But I'm taking a lot of precautions here because I know how bad resin is and how much it can mess up your your system, your your lungs and everything, right? Your throat. And I don't know. I just don't like it. And, and you know, the more that I can save myself from breathing that stuff, the better. And that's why I decided to spend so much money with a proper setup instead of doing it inside my house and, and whatever. So, yeah. So, again, the next step, I think, is to fix that too, get a lighting, and then get a... I want to get a heater in here so I can keep it at least, you know, 70 degrees in here while it's printing. Um, other than that, yeah, I think this is all set up and I'm really happy with, with how this all came out. Shout out to Creality for hooking me up with the resin printer. Uh, they sent it back to me. They sent it to me, I think like four, four months ago, three or four months ago. And I just, you know, I had to get all this set up and it cost a lot of money for this whole setup. And, you know, it was, they sent it to me for free to, to make content. 
And I told him that, oh, just give me a month. And, you know, one thing led to another. I had to move into my new house and I had to buy all this and all of it's expensive, you know, like this AC infinity unit is probably like $500 with the carbon filter and the fan and everything. I had to buy the AnyCubic and, you know, that's another like $200, I think. I don't remember how much that was, but yeah. So, so, so we have everything to, uh, to start resin printing now. So hope you guys stay tuned and watch me do some resin printing. Thanks for watching.